Sharrington. Right here. There was nothing between those two points. Zero. Just water. The reason I know that, and other people know that, is I have many, many testimonials to where when you're at Sharrington, you could see the light on the tail of the Hog Island, the navigation lamp on Hog Island. You could see that from Sharrington. And people, now, now you're, you're making me go way far afield here, but young men, young women who grew up in places like Hog Island, they had, what? What are they going to do? Well, they had their own instruments, they had their own music, they had their own stuff, but there was beer, there was dancing, there was fun stuff at Sharrington Beach. So you would come, there was no, no land, don't forget. You would cross this water in your boat and spend Saturday at, at Sharrington and then go back at night. Now that's open water, guys. You, you, you don't cross that all the time. I mean, you, so there were problems, but they did it anyway. There was a, a hotel. I just finished doing a transcription of it. There was a hotel at Sheridan, which if you had money, you could rent and come back to Hog Island the next day if you wanted to. But not everybody had money to spend like that on something as simple, as free as accommodations ought to be. You couldn't, you had to, <laughs> but if there's money that somebody's gonna take it. And there was a facility built at Sheraton to do that. Uh, people, they do what was necessary for all aspects of their lives. They did what was necessary. And dancing and fun and music was part of it. I don't know if y'all know Fats Domino. You know that he was popular at Sharrington? Huh? You would come and play there? Yes! At Sharrington, by God! Now, Fats Domino didn't play at your honky-tonk, ordinary place. But he came to Sheridan to play more than once. So, this was a big deal at one time, right here. 